First, it was telling CU students to stop partying. When that didn't work, it was enforcing a 14-day quarantine. And now the school is taking it a step further to curb the spread of COVID, requiring everyone to go to class online for the next two weeks. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen joins us from the CU Boulder campus, where frustrated students are left deciding what to do next. Students I talked to today hope this is only temporary, but they wouldn't put money on it. Now the question is, do they continue to pay through the nose to live on campus just so that they can be quarantined in their dorm rooms for online only classes. This is my classroom and I do my homework and everything now. Inside his tiny dorm room, I log on to do my stats homework. Alex Zen reads the announcement he's been dreading. All online at least two weeks. Starting Wednesday, CU Boulder goes all remote. I was disappointed. I already have, a, I only have one in person for econ right now and Taking that away is just, it's a little tough, especially for the amount of tuition that we're paying. Just last week, CU leaders said transmission was not happening in classrooms, but now coronavirus case numbers just aren't dropping fast enough. We know this is difficult. These are not normal times. CU is also increasing patrols and enforcement for the partying that spread the virus in the first place. I definitely see people being irresponsible. Freshman Phoenix Broomfield wants to stay on campus, in part because he could only get half his money back. It really seems like at this point they're caring more about just trying to get our money from housing than they are about student health. See Boulder planning to give any tuition or fee refunds because of this? Uh, no, we're not. Provost Russell Moore tells me remote learning is only temporary if students do what they need to do to stop the spread. I feel like it's all just a scam, one big scam that Boulder has just has us up here for. A lot of students are skeptical, though. Nothing about their college experience has worked out the way they hoped. And really, I wake up to a new email every day detailing what my future is going to look like. And it seems I'm very powerless here at, at CU Boulder. Um, so let's go, boss. CU is also cracking down on enforcement. They're suspending students caught violating safety rules. They've already suspended 14 students. Also, public health officials are encouraging students not to go back home during this two week period. They say that could also spread the virus. Reporting in Boulder, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.